Hey guys, my name is Skelly45 and welcome to a review on zombies or zombies at my neighbors. Uh, I wanted to review guys for ages. If you don't know, I had an old series called um, Skelly Reviews where I reviewed games, many Game Boy Advance games, but yeah. So yeah, we can choose between two players, Zeke and some other guy. We're going to be choosing Zeke. If you wonder why my game is called Zombies, I'm using the European version. If we press start on the Super Famicom controller or Super Nintendo controller, and we'll start up the game. See. So, yeah. Basically, the whole game of this is basically what just a day. You've got to rescue your neighbors. There are multiple levels. The highest I've got up to is level 3. And yeah, this is the game. Basically, to collect these people, you just go walk into them. And you get points depending on who they are. To complete a stage, you do have to collect. <coughs> you have to collect them all. But if one of them dies, it's fine. You just don't get enough high score. Uh, you just don't get a high score, so, well, you do get a high score, you know, you just won't get as high. So, you just gotta run about, uh, you can switch weapons by pressing the B button. Uh, you start from the map, if you press the Y button, you will throw your ammo, and same with this um, thing. So, yeah, you can also go on these trampoline things to jump over walls if you can't jump high enough. So, for example, if we press forward, we will jump onto this, but there has to be... But there doesn't have to be a, another trampoline, as you guys will see in a minute. So, we can swim and collect up this guy. And then we can go over here. And then we can go ahead and collect another guy. This is the whole theme of this game. Because, you know, zombies at your neighbors, man. you got to go kill them. So, yeah. To kill them, you just have to shoot them with anything that you've got. For example, if we take these um, bombs here, or smoke things, I don't know what they are. You can press the Y button, but you have to be standing still, and it will kill him. But with the gun, you can be moving, you can hold it down, or you can just tap it to get more precise shots, like that. The zombies will not return after they are killed. Another one will spawn in its place, so yep. So I guess it's kind of like returning, but it's not the same zombie, so yep. Okay. you got to basically diverse this area. You can jump in water from any place, so yep. And then, and then if we press X, we can use the med pack, and look, see, we have got two keys, meaning we can, uh, go ahead and rescue this kid that is in here by using up one. Uh, you only need, uh, two keys for this first level, uh, to get access to the other ones. If you want to know how to go into the next stage, you have to collect everyone, like I said, guys. Uh, two leaders are worth the most points, look, see, bam. Bam, an exit will appear. I'm just going to go in here and grab up this weapon. This weapon is called the Fire Hose. If you see any zombies near you, there are none. All right, we'll use it on the next day. Ah, there we go. If you see any and you are scared and you think that you might die, press Y. Press Y to attack and it will freeze them, giving you a small opportunity to shoot them. But be, but be do aware, uh, they do... um. Yeah, it does run out quite quick. So, yep, that is level one, guys. And you have to repeat this, but they all have insane, crazy levels to them, guys. You get to see, like, you've rescued at the end of the level. Get your score up. You have three lives in total. And then you get a bonus for saving them all. So, that's why you definitely want to try to save them all. So, yeah. Level two is, I believe it is, um... I forget what this one is. Ah, yes. Uh, you're setting to the same thing, guys. So, yeah. But, don't worry. After this level, it'll, the levels will start getting much crazier. For example, the next level will be a supermarket. Next one will be a hedge. And, like, this Jason-like ripoff will start chasing you. And it is terrifying. And it is so annoying. And here we'll get some new weapons. For example, this. Which is just... It's just not a good weapon. Yes, it can kill most enemies in one hit. But you have to have the fire extinguisher to get a setup. Let me show you for an example. Let me go rescue this person. Okay. If you press Y, oh, go, go, go. Y, and then. Oh, God, damn it. Bam. Or you can do it when they're chasing them. But you will get knocked back no matter what you do. Some of these zombies will camp you, will camp you and try to uh, kill you. So you want to watch out for that. You can also collect this money. This will boost up your score, I do believe, guys. So, yeah, you want to look out for that. That's going to be great items to get. Pick up some bombs. Uh, there's more people here. 
This girl is a bit annoying. What you've got to do is just jump on the trampoline and face her way and then catch her. And then bam. That's how you get her. There's some more zombies over here. You just gotta basically just kill them all. Uh, we don't have no keys at the moment. You do carry over any keys that you have from the previous time. Ah, in there is a potion. If you drink that potion, you become this great scary monster. You come completely outpowered. You can punch in some walls. It's very specific walls. But you can punch in some walls, guys. And this is the worst drawback of this game. Where to go? On level 3, it is even worse. It is very hard to locate where you want to go, guys. And every time, uh, every time you quit, guys, you have to reset from the start. There's some zombies over there. We're going to rescue this kid. Look, see? We go up here, pick up this potion. And if you want to change what you're holding, it is the A button. And if we press uh, X to use the item, we will transform into this purple looking monster. And we press Y to attack. We have some special attack, but I don't know how to use them. But yeah. I think that's actually your monster's HP if we get hit. No, I'm joking. You can't get hit. This guy's overpowered his hair. You can just smash through it, anything. Your enemies literally become nothing to you. See? Bam. See? Bam. Dead. And then we can just continue as we're normal. It will wear out soon, guys. So you want to use it at, like, certain opportunities. I just used it there just to give you an example. You can go through these hedge things. That's enough bad thing. Them hedges are awful, guys. You want to be wary of them? He, oh, yeah, he doesn't like trampolines and he doesn't like, uh, what is it? He doesn't like water, so you can't swim as him. So that is very annoying. Basically, you just got one until it runs out if you want to jump onto a trampoline. Like this. So, yeah, it is, is ve that is very annoying. Also, uh, let's talk about the cat sign right here. Uh, a black skull t-shirt, pretty cool. And blonde hair with, I think, 3D move glasses, jeans, and red shoes. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. What you're seeing here, guys, is actually the entire screen. So, yep. This is quality that is all play at. This game is very fun and very enjoyable. And I have no idea why. Um, so, yeah. I'm just going to wrap up this review here, guys. Uh, basically, it's just the exact same again. But each level is so different. Uh, I know this is probably a bad example to land on. But the next one is a supermarket and that's super fun. So, yeah. If you see this game... Um, I'd like a game shop and you own a Super Nintendo. Pick this game up. This game is fun. So, yeah, I only picked up for about, I don't know, six pounds, which would be, I don't know, six dollars. Let's just say that. So, yeah. Well, my name is Skelly45. I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, out of ten, I would give this game up. I'll give it, I'll, out of ten, I'll give this game a six. I meant seven. This game is very good, but it does have a lot of its shortcomings, for example. I've just paused the game right there, guys. See, nothing will move. Uh, so, yeah, this game is very enjoyable. I highly picking it up. Uh, its drawbacks are... It is slightly repetitive, so you probably want to not buy it as your first Super Nintendo game. Do you want to have some other ones? Uh, so, yeah, guys. I'll be reviewing a game in another couple of days. If this video performs well, I'll do it earlier. But, other than that, yeah. Uh, my name is Skate 45 Make sure you hit like, subscribe. Uh, comment anything down below, uh, turn on the notification bell, I respond to all comments, thanks so much guys, I want to be doing game reviews from now on, I don't know why, uh, I'll still be doing my let's plays on like games and all that, but I just want to do uh, game reviews and I have no idea why. Well my name is Skelly45, I hope you enjoyed that review on Zombies at My Neighbors or Zombies in the UK, wherever you live. My name is Skelly45 and I'll see you guys later, goodbye!